friends. Welcome to another episode of Zooming on Your TV. My name is Frankie. I'll be your host today for episode three, where we're going to show you how to make the ultimate Zoom TV PC. We're going to take this 32-inch TV. We're going to take a PC. You can use either a mini or micro PC like I have here or a laptop. We're going to take a webcam, an external microphone, a PC mount for the back of the TV, and a keyboard and mouse. And we're going to turn this TV into the ultimate Zoom TV PC. You'll be able to take this and put it on your dining room table, your kitchen table, or perhaps a coffee table in your living room. So be able to move it around where you need it, where you need to use it. And this unit will give you not only a TV with Roku, but it's also going to give you a PC, a computer, where you can do all your standard computer needs on, as well as it's going to give you the full power of Zoom. So you can conduct meetings, whatever you need to, with the full functionality of Zoom for a PC. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to turn this around and mount the mount on the back. We'll show you what that looks like. All right, friends, so we've turned the TV around and we've mounted the PC mount on the back of the TV, as you can see here. Now, this comes with all of the things you need, the screws, uh, all of the adjustments and the straps and things that you might need to mount your uh, PC on the back of the uh, TV. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to use a micro PC today, and you can simply set the PC in the back here, and this adjusts so you can snug it up and tighten the uh, bolts here on the bottom to mount that on there. The other thing you could do if you already have a laptop, you can use a laptop as well. And so you can put that laptop right in here, whatever direction you want. You can snug this up, tighten that up, and it'll have your device safely mounted on the back of your TV. That way when you pick it up and move it, you're not having to move a whole bunch of things. It's all kind of there together. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and finish the installation process. We're going to mount this micro PC on the back of the uh, TV. We're going to hook up the proper connections, the uh, power cable, the HDMI cable that will go from the PC to an HDMI port on the TV. We're going to plug in the mic, run it around. We're going to get all of the connections plugged in along with the, the uh, webcam. And then we'll come back and we'll show you how uh, everything looks once it's mounted and together. And then we'll go into showing you how to use this Zoom TV PC. Okay, friends, we're back. Uh, we're going to uh, take a look at what we've done here now on the back of the TV. So uh, previously we showed you where we mounted the mount on the back of the TV. Well, now what we've done is we've taken this micro PC and we've put it in the holder. We slid the plate back up against it to snug it up. We've used these thumb screws and tightened up the, the bolts so that it's nice and tight. And it comes with a strap. We put the strap around it just so it couldn't slide out the side somehow when you're moving it around. Um, then on the PC, we took our uh, display port to HDMI cable and connected it from the PC to an HDMI port on the TV. We took the power cable and we've uh, put the uh, power brick, put some uh, sticky tape on it, and set it here on the piece that sticks out on the uh, mount. And that leaves us with two plug-ins that we'll have to plug in when we're going to use this. So one's for the TV, one's for the PC. Um, then we took some USB devices, the, uh, the microphone. Um, we plugged it into a USB port, and the webcam we plugged it into a USB port. The computer has Wi-Fi, so uh, you're connected via Wi-Fi to the internet. It does have an Ethernet port on it, uh, but we're not using that. We want this to be as portable as possible. We want to be able to just, you know, take this and move it around. And as it is right now, it's pretty light, so you can move it around fairly easy. So, for the most part, that's really what uh, you need to do to get everything up and ready. And so at this point, what we're going to do is um, turn the TV around. We'll get it turned on and we'll show you how everything looks when you're actually using the device. 
All right, friends. So we're back now. We've uh, we've got our uh, Zoom TV PC all set up now, ready to go. So basically, what we've got is the TV with the PC mounted on the back. We've got a, a high definition webcam. We've got a high definition uh, external microphone. We've got a all-in-one Bluetooth keyboard with a touchpad, and uh, basically, it's a full-blown computer as well as uh, a TV with Roku built in so you have a lot of that functionality. So the reason we think this is the ideal Zoom setup for most people is you get more than one thing. Basically you get a TV. Um, because it's a Roku TV you can have other things installed on it. Subscriptions to like Netflix or YouTube TV uh, like us, we don't have cable any longer. We just subscribe to YouTube TV, and so uh, we've got YouTube TV installed on all of our TVs and our computers, and we can watch TV from whatever device that we're on. We can even do it from our phone, so that's a nice uh, way to save money on uh, getting rid of cable, but this device would let you do such a thing. And the fact that it's a TV and a Roku TV is nice because you get all of that functionality, but now that we've added the PC to it, now you get all of the functionality of a PC. And so with the remote control, you can just simply come over here to HDMI 1. You can pull up the uh, TV, and, or I mean the, the PC. Now you've got a Windows 10 PC. So I'm going to walk around here, and I'm going to show you what we look like here if we go into Zoom. And we'll go ahead and just start a new meeting. So I've, I've turned the, the camera around so it's pointing at me. There's no reason to point it at the camera so you see yourself. So, But um, this is a 4K camera. It's about a $50 camera. Um, it's a high definition 4K. So it's much better than what you would get on a laptop. And of course you're limited to your settings that you have set up in Zoom. So Zoom comes set to uh, 720p. Uh, 30 frames per second, but you can go in and change it to 1080p. Um, you can also use other programs. There's one called ManyCam, M-A-N-Y-C-A-M, that will let you change your resolution to 4K and uh, up your uh, frame rate to 60, and this camera is capable of doing that. And so that's why this is a, kind of a neat option that's a little better than a, 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 a laptop. Plus, you've got a much bigger screen. Um, with me, I'm older. I appreciate a larger screen. I can see more people, more tiles on my screen and stuff. But this is uh, what you would see with Zoom. But the nice thing about having a PC is if you uh, are somebody that's running the meeting or if you need to, to uh, control it, you've got all the full functionality of Zoom right here at your fingertips. So uh, that's the nice thing about having this set up is you're not limited on what you can do with the PC. You can just be a participant and uh, participate. You can be somebody that just watches, that's there, uh, or you can actually be somebody that's uh, running things, controlling things. This gives you that ability to do all of those things. And so certainly appreciate that uh, ability for you to do that. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here and uh, uh, just kind of finalize this video for you. So... The reason we appreciate uh, this is the, the fact that you've got a TV, you've got a Roku TV, so you can subscribe, a smart TV in a sense, so you can subscribe to all of these subscription things that you might want. You've got a full-blown PC, and it's portable. You know, it's really light. You can pick this thing up and take it wherever you need to take it with. Put it on, you know, the coffee table in your living room. Put it on your dining room or kitchen table. Um... A lot of people want to be at a table so they can, you know, have their books and things. This is perfect. You can sit it at the end of the table. Everybody can gather around. The camera is a wide-angle camera. It's going to pick everybody up. Uh, it's just a perfect setup for uh, what most people are using Zoom for at home. It's better than a, a laptop in the fact that uh, uh, you get a lot of a, a better camera. You get a bigger screen. Um, it's just a 
a, a better setup in my opinion. Now, if you already have a laptop, you can use the laptop in the back back here like we did the PC, and then you could still use the laptop when you needed to. So that's another uh, uh, use case scenario as well. But we really appreciate you taking the time to watch uh, this episode three of Zooming on Your TV, and we hope that you got something out of this.